Oh, good morning. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Hi are everybody. We on? Is the light Is green? the light on? Yes. Oh, Yay, good. working. Love that green light. Green means I know. go. Well, I mm. feel like it's really kind of, I mean, in my, it seems fall. It's going to be hot today. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm starting to bring out some mm -hmm. fall colors. We all are, I think. Labor Day is Monday. Yeah. Officially. I can't do, wear white after the Labor mornings Day. have been pretty cool. Yeah, it's been great. I, I keep mm -hmm. thinking about actually our our fish our fishing, our swimming escapades. Mm -hmm. We've only had one, mm -hmm. and I and I feel like last year we started late anyway. Yeah, like, we did we start about we did this time. Well, no, it was early hmm. August, but yeah. Anyway, anyway, it's been a different summer. Yeah, different. totally. You have a, another person living in your house again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and we had a big shop move. <laughs> I continue well, yeah. to think that that was. I know, I know. Kind of threw us off our loop. Yeah. Well, I guess. Yeah, no. But um, yeah, Labor Day. Are you doing anything for Labor Day weekend? Nope, I don't think so. Yeah. I think we're just yeah that yeah. it will be on my list. Mm -hmm. Um, right now we're we are watching Elise and Silas mm -hmm. because mom's out of town doing some professional work work. stuff, mm -hmm. and the dad is doing his work in Lewistown. So we get to take we I get to take Silas and Elise to their respective. Oh, they have two places. different places. Yeah, Elise goes to a regular home daycare, mm -hmm. and then. Silas is going to St. Francis, mm -hmm. so he just gets pretty excited. He's a kind of like a hop and a skip out of the car, and I need my backpack yeah, and his amazing Spider-Man uh -huh. backpack. It's pretty cute, but I think at the end of the day, he's really zapped because Jim said he's he just like goes to sleep in the car. Does he really? He doesn't have his nap now in the <laughs> afternoon. <Yeah>. So, he's <laughs> but he's he's pretty cute, and his, you know, he. His his vocabulary, um, you know, it's really stretched mm -hmm. even in just a couple of sure. days, you know, and and actually, like his he's has good sentences, but he's adding extra words like mm -hmm. the to, like he went to somewhere or went in somewhere, mm -hmm. like he hasn't mm -hmm. used those words yeah. before, so cool. But, so it's pretty fun to watch. It's, they're little sponges. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Important part of grammar, and so then Elise is are they. Is he, like, sad? Does she go um, first, or does he go yeah, first? Yeah, I take her first, and he does say, I miss sissy, and, uh -huh. you know, but, <laughs> and she doesn't really care, so. <laughs> As most sisters don't. <laughs> uh, what is she, two? No, one. No, like, She's not even just that. One. She turned one in yeah. June, so she okay. doesn't, like, have any awareness right. of, of all of that, so. But she knows when she sees her mom on, on the camera, like, mm -hmm. on the phone, she's like, <laughs> when does Alice get back? Tomorrow. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Good. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, well, we, um, I don't have anything exciting to oh, report. Well, just okay. your kitchen's almost done, so No, it's wait. not. We're now waiting for countertops. Okay. <laughs> We're still waiting. <laughs> at a so. standstill. It's just at a standstill. But well, I did bake some, I baked a little bit. I've been using it some, even though I don't have your old new, countertops. Like, you have a fancy... I say fancy, fancy. like every, anything newer than what I have <laughs> is fancy. New, so new oven, yeah, it's one of those more professional looking things. So I think, and I it seems a little bit more. It's kind of loud though. Oh, really? I don't know. I might huh. need to call about that. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that because I was saying, well, you you are now a professional baker. Mm. Get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do really like baking. And you know what? We also have a new grocery store in Billings, the okay. town and country. Yes. Have you been? Yes. I have. Is it good? Well, we've, we've, we're just kind of running in. It's so close to our house, which is wonderful. And so we just kind of run in, run out, you know, check the beer selection. That was a plus. And right. Check, right. Like dairy, fine. Um, but this morning I went at 7 in the morning, mm. and nobody was there except people, professional people talking grocery stuff. And it, I love going. I do love going grocery shopping when no one's there. I know. It's quiet. I can look like a private at private shopping event. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like a private yeah. shopping event. It was pretty nice. I had dollars. one of the clerks, <laughs> you know, ask me. It was yes. very attentive. Um, but yeah, it's a good. It's great. They have an. I was. I was. I am. I'm impressed. Well, great. Yep. Hey, FYI, I was just saw on Facebook. We were talking about this new bakery thing downtown. Oh, downtown. Yes, it is going to be downtown. It's called, and I'm going to butcher it. Le Macaron. Oh, where? It is. I think it might be a chain, but it says it's one twelve. 
North Broadway. So that's kind of by the crystals. <laughs> oh, sweet. It's, I don't know where. I kind of, I did drive by on purpose to see exactly Is where that was. Is it by Hooligans? Maybe. Like in between the Crystal Lounge and Hooligans? I, it possibly. And Aspenwall. Well, 112. Listeners know. Whatever one. You know, and you're watching. Tell us. Well, so the Northern's and there. they're going to have gelato. Hmm. Oh, fun. And the pastries and then the cookies. And then the bunt place. Yeah. And or then, is that going to be? Nothing, well, that's because out. nothing bunt cakes. Nothing bunt. Is that the one that's B-U-N-T. out by on King Avenue, that one? I don't know. Oh, we don't know. I don't know. Well, if okay. anybody knows, just shoot mm-hmm. it in the comments because yeah. we want to know we want <laughs> where to know. all the yeah. sugar's at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm, fun. So okay. speaking of sugar, I think this is like a little sugar. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? What's that song? <sighs> sugar. sugar. Put a little. Uh, no, I don't know. Oh, I meant do, the do, one do, with do, Adam do, Levine. Do, do. Maroon uh. Five. Anyway, look, we mm. got some new pom poms. We Lots did. of and these colors are super special. These are well, the very limited edition. Right. I so think this one is too. We we probably are gonna have to limit yeah. one really cool pom pom to a buyer. The, of the new ones. The brand the new, new ones. The neat her neons. She uh the pom pom maker. She didn't even have these on her website. We right. at, we just casually said, Is there anything new? Oh yeah, I've got a few of these. Do you want them? And so. we said, of course we do. Mm-hmm. And look what Ashley found. <laughs> this would go look perfect with our... Uh, and that yeah. lime green is brighter in person than it's showing on the screen here. Is it? So okay. it's a little bit more neonish it's, than you see right now if you're yeah. watching. It's definitely a pop. A yes, good definitely pop. a pop. But this would look good, too. Oh, that's that. really pretty, too. We're, yeah, we, we have a beautiful new well-stocked um, chain o pom poms. Chain o pom pom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they should jingle. They should put some jingles on there. They're so fun. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you are going to want uh, these for your bobcat hats. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, Grizz. <laughs> Retro there Grizz. You go. <laughs> I think I We think didn't Grizz. even think of that, yeah. but now we are. Wow. Go team. All right. There's a more maroonish one, too, that. Well, and so we got mm-hmm. some yarn in from two sisters. You know, we're waiting mm-hmm. for some more mm-hmm. of the Grizz and the Bobcat stripes so we mm-hmm. can make some fun. I think I've run into so many um, young, you know, college-age kids and parents who said that, you know, their kids are so excited to be back, going, you know. Anyway, so go study hard, guys. Yep. So lots of exciting things that happen in the fall, right? School mm-hmm. starts and then fall sweater knitting so kick off for the knit along Mm -hmm. like we are planning a fall knit along and we're really excited um because we've sort of been holding back on i really on both these sweaters we've had them Mm -hmm. we've had this one for a while Mm -hmm. this one's newer but Mm -hmm. we're really jacked so um you're gonna have two options okay yeah all right fall knit along is happening at the yarn bar yep Okay, All ready? Right, so one roll, pom pom roll. Okay, Ooh. so we've got the Alaska sweater and sea change. Yep, and it's really not half a sweater. Yeah. <laughs> we did this sample on purpose just to give maybe some people an idea of how a, a yoked sweater is constructed. And yeah, um, this one's going to actually be it's bottom knit up from the bottom. Mm-hmm. So our sample knitter. Wendy, right? Yep, Wendy. She she cast on here, and then you do the sleeve separate, and then you move up to the yoke. Mm-hmm. But a top down sweater would look the same, basically. Right. Um, it's just just a different FYI, construction if you've never method. done that before. Yeah, you start, you put your sleeves on hold, you finish your body, then you go back and do sleeves, or right. other way around if it's bottom up. And this up. one is funny too, though. I mean, it's kind of funny because they're both opposite, sort of. So this is top down, but the color works at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Cute. Alaska sweater. Yep. It's a French Canadian designer. I can't remember her name. Camille. Ah, Camille. Camille. Desco two. Desco okay. Two. Okay. This one's Jennifer Steingas. She has, I think, she lives in Maine, and she has lots of really pretty color work sweaters. Um, we like this one. Um, 
I we just we loved I really like the scallops on there. I, think I did that's too. Beautiful. Um, but it there's lots really of great. It kind of really has a lace. Yeah. Kind of a lace doily look without mm-hmm. actually being a lace doily. Mm-hmm. It's so. pretty. And we wanted to give everyone an idea of you know what a bright fun colors yeah, would look like. Yeah, I know. We loved it. I love the crispness mm-hmm. of the blue and the white. Kind of has that Wedgwood kind of look, but I don't know. Just really. And that pop. Yeah, yeah. I just I would love. That's to fun. Pretend I'm wearing that. It's mm-hmm. cute. Um, both of these, <laughs> yeah, both of these are DK weight it matches um, my sweaters. Pants. No, cute. We could hmm. do something with that. I'll have to finish it. There you go. DK weight sweaters, um, top down or bottom up. Yep, you pick. You pick. Uh, lots of color options, lots of yarn options. I wouldn't say one is easier than the other, really. No. Like, probably you have, like, if you mess up on your chart right here, that's probably not going to matter because it's just an extra branch on the tree. Mm. But I do think that there's lots of fun ways to play with the color Mm -hmm. on the Alaska sweater for the trees. Right. Well, and if you, I mean, so we like this one because really we just chose to put a pop of color at the very top. And a lot of the projects on Revelry kind of did that. So we were inspired by that. So our pop is Einbond from uh, Let Lope or Lopey doubled up to get the gauge. Um, and we just love that. There's some great fun colors there. And we did mix some, we mixed yarns yeah. on this project. Mm-hmm. Um, and we mixed some weight, but we mm-hmm. kind of picked things that we knew were going to be able to handle that. So, so um, Andorra is the deep blue, the scallop. Okay, you've got this at the top, and then the Andorra, and then um, felted tweed. Yep. Always fun um, to use. And then the white okay, is Okay, and the, the white scout. is scout. Great. We've talked yep. about it a lot. And then back to felted tweed for the blue. So and then, we just yeah. really focused on what colors we wanted for this pattern, Instead of just choosing one yarn, Mm -hmm. we knew kind of what weights we wanted, and then we started to play with the color. Mm -hmm. And so that will, we'll talk about another thing that we're going to do with this knit along Mm -hmm. in help it pick colors. Right. And one thing you could do if you wanted to do this pattern is go through your stash. This doesn't take that much. If you've got a nice DK in there that you like, use it. And then, you know, play with some other colors for the rest of it. Or... Or you don't have to do a pop of color here. You This could, you know, theoretically all be green um, or whatever your base is. Cause, and some of the samples, again, just have, yeah, and they some, don't have this. Some of the projects on Ravelry are pretty neutral. Mm-hmm. So and like, they're beautiful. Um, you know, like mm-hmm. grab just even the super neutral, the gray and the taupe. I, mm-hmm. We saw um, some that were just those two colors. And then so pop a little cream we in just there. Told, I mean, you know, beautiful. we just wanted to switch it up a little bit, but definitely it can go two colors, or three, mm-hmm. or four, mm-hmm. or five. Yeah. So the way she's designed this, it's really easy to divide up mm-hmm. the color sections. Yeah. So take a look at that. Is there color work on the sleeves on this one or at the bottom? Um, I think at the sleeve. The cuffs. And if there isn't, I. Th- feel like if that you would could be add a it. fun the little scallop. Right. That'd be a cute. A lot of her designs, she does repeat the, mm-hmm. the color work okay. the cuff, but obviously you don't have to. Right. Yeah. So that's that one. And then Alaska. Okay, the other fun thing about felted tweed is um, there's a brand new thing with felted tweed, that's and that's right. color from felted tweed. And so it's a slow gradient um it's really pretty, and so that yeah. would be they I have think, really oh, fun for this. Yeah, for this because this is all felted tweed. Right. Doesn't have to be, but this sample is. So this color changing would have been lovely in the trees. Well, I think it'd be fantastic to do oh. the thing and then a solid for the trees, or upside down, like yeah, yeah. I do. I think. I mean, because you could like do sort of a sunsetty kind of thing here with right. your body with felted tweed now with the colors because there's one that's like reds i don't think we pulled it but oh my goodness or like northern lights i know you know there's a (laughs) there's turquoisey one 
and then do like really dark like a black tree almost silhouette i don't know if i you think can that'd be fun see the color the change, color is, change. Very it's it is really subtle some aren't as subtle and some some are well in the way they so packaged those it two would be gorgeous together yeah the way they packaged it in their you know the bags of 10 that came from the warehouse I mean, it was, you could totally tell the gradient because some were really brown and some for this one were the plum. It's really fun. A beautiful new concept from We Felty also Tweed. thought this, using mm -hmm. the Freya Sport for the tree section mm -hmm. would be wonderful. You have enough yardage to do that. Um, you may need an extra skein. Not really sure about that. If you wanted to do your sleeves in the same way, and then so then pair it with a solid, right? Or do the trees the gradient, and then pop in for your ribbing a solid. Oh That'd yeah, be fun that too. would be fun too. Um, oh, a good idea. Do a solid rib. You know, it's complementary ribbing at the top. I love that red. Mm -hmm. That was it's a good beautiful. choice. Yeah, that's just beautiful. I just, yeah, I feel like, I know you can get a lot of options out of almost any sweater if you're creative, but I feel like the way that this Alaska sweater has been designed, it's kind of giving you, I mean, it gives you a little, like a painting, mm -hmm. kind of like a little landscape. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really fun to, you can really play with that. You can. So there's, here's some other pretty color combos. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that fun. one. This is a beautiful new yarn from Barocco Dolce, it's called. So a little bit of fuzz. And a little bit of color mixed and in gradient too. color. And I think those would be great for either one mm -hmm, of these they sweaters. Would. It's kind of like summer sesame in a way. And we loved that. That one sold out of the shop entirely. Um, so it's probably going to be hard to see on the camera, but... You have to yeah, come they're see it fuzzy, for they're soft. If you look close, there's lots of different colors. Mm -hmm. And then we also got, um, well, we got, we talked about Moredale in the neutrals, mm -hmm. but you know, don't always fit the neutral zone. But um, that would be a beautiful right sea there. change. That's it, right sea there. Sea change, bam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a nice option if you um, want to stick to, you know, if you want to make a sweater but don't want to spend a a yep. fortune or whatever your budget is recycled this is a new one recycled tweed and it's really nice we have sold a lot of it we have and, and we have new colors 382 yards in this and it's it's a dk weight mm -hmm. and these colors right here are brand new just got these in today and this would mm -hmm. make just a I really love that pastel. that'd be a really great winter sweater i mean I'm, it's not like sticky sweet pastel it's no, just a nice soft no. palette like if i was going to make sweater. a sweater for my mother-in-law i probably won't sorry bev but <laughs> these are kind of her colors like it's she gorgeous. would love and wear this all the time mm -hmm. it's really nice and this would handle color work well there's wool there's polyester and acrylic and it's all recycled yeah completely um, the wool's recycled and all the and then recycled. this deep palette's nice too so and doesn't have to be sweaters. I mean, we're selling this for lots of other stuff too. Oh yeah, so. lots of blankets and yeah. um, crocheters have been really liking this too. It's a great yarn. So yeah. we're happy we have that. Yeah, very happy. Um, okay, all right. So then the details on the whole knit along, the structure of it, it's gonna officially start on October 1st, which is a Friday. Yep, the first yeah, Friday. First Friday again, yep. Mm -hmm. Is this Friday a first Friday? Yes it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, <laughs> we're open late till eight. On Friday. Uh-huh, this Friday. <laughs> this, sorry, we're digressing. This Friday's first Friday. We're open late. It's the first Friday of September. I don't um, think there's yeah. an art walk, though. I don't think this so. Time, it's Labor so. Day weekend, yeah, so. But right. we'll, we'll be here. It'll yep, be fun. Yeah, we will be. Um, oh, yeah. And we're going to do, like, a little giveaway, like a drawing thing. Put your name in the pot, and we'll draw your name on the, on the evening this Friday. Okay. Come. Yep. Okay. Um, but anyway, so then the knit along will start on the next first Friday, which, which is, is October 1st. Yeah, perfect. Um, so we'll have late night knitting, um, all day long. We'll kind of start the project. Yep. Um, your project prizes, uh, souvenir will happen. You may not, you might not get it the first Friday of October, but 
official knit along participants always get a souvenir right at the yarn so bar. it's fifteen dollars to join the mm -hmm. knit along and that will give you you know opportunity to have the prizes and you'll get a discount on your sweater mm -hmm. so but there is one other thing that we're going to be doing that's a new thing that yep. we're trying we're going to have a private shopping event with Sue and I to help you choose colors because if you choose like e either one of these sweaters and we will give you the personal attention that you know and you love and crave <laughs> <laughs> and we'll help you choose your colors and it'll be an awesome little evening. Um, we'll have champagne and we'll have a cheese. Wine and so, cheese. Yep, yeah. Yep. So that is going to be Monday September 20th mm -hmm. from 5.30 to 7.30. So. And that is, that's optional. I mean, you can always come in and yeah, choose your own help, colors but, and we, we will that, always help. Yeah, but this will be kind of a fun. Kind of a party atmosphere. Yes. To so, choose and stuff. that is a limited uh, amount of people. Yeah, if so, you sign up for Knit Along, we'll contact you and someone's waving. I don't know who that is. I don't either. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. We're on live. Minutes. Okay. okay. Uh, we'll contact you and ask if you want to do the private the private knit along the private shopping. shopping. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway. So anyway, that's how that's gonna work. And tentatively on January fifteenth, which is a Saturday, we'll do a potluck brunch um, to celebrate and show off yeah, knitted little, sweaters little show. from the fall knit along. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I think and that's it. You can it. join in if you don't live in Billings. Mm -hmm. Oh join yeah. Join us anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you'll still get a little prize. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We'll we mail, mail it out it. to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're really excited. We've just been holding on to these sweaters, wanting to show them off to you. So we are. I think you guys will all love Here's it. Here's the Alaska hat. Oh, that could be. You could do gauge work and make an Alaska hat. Hey, there you go. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yep. Yep, never need to think about that, but that is a great way to check your gauges. Mm -hmm. A cowl or a hat mm -hmm. is a great way to work. And the your bottom gauge. up sweater concept is also a nice way to check gauge because you can do you do your sleeves first, and you can just do sleeves, check gauge, go from there. Mm. So we can give you those tips. Cool. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. Hey everybody. We'll see you next, see you next right. Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.